Hello and welcome to part three of the Laguna Laser Cutter tutorial series. And in part three, we're actually going to be talking about RD Works, which is the software you're going to need to become familiar with before you can hit that start button to finish your project on the laser cutter. So by now you should have seen the video as to how you take your material and load it into the laser cutter. So now that you know how to do that, let's dive into the wonderful world of RD Works. Okay, so let's learn how to use RD Works, which is the software that you're gonna need to know how to use to laser cut anything. Or, well, almost anything. So, I'm going to import my file by going to File, Import, selecting the file that I wish to laser cut, and click Open. Awesome. So, as you can see, this is the file that I want to work with. However, it's definitely not the size that I want. So, I'm going to resize it. And to do that, I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything, make sure it's selected. I'm going to go right here. So over here is the current height and width of our image. And these are the units that the laser is going to be working with. So keep the units in mind whenever you are going to be resizing your image. So in this case, just going to delete what's currently there and type in my desired unit and press enter. So as we can see, our image has been resized and it's looking good so far. However, I am noticing there's a line that I do not want to laser etch or laser cut. So I want to get rid of that. I want to do that by selecting the line and pressing delete on my keyboard. So that should get rid of the line, which clearly did. And now everything's looking exactly how I want it. However, I'm going to have to tell the laser what I want to laser etch and laser cut because currently we only have one layer and that layer is set to laser scan. Laser scan is the same as laser etch. So all the lines we see here are black, which is part of the black layer. So that means everything we see here is going to be laser etch. However, I don't want everything to be laser etched. I also want there to be a laser cut. So I'm gonna have to make a new layer. How do you do that? It's pretty simple. Click the line that you want to laser cut, which will select it. And then we're gonna go over here where we see a bunch of different colored boxes. And we're just gonna pick a color. It could be any color really, as long as it's not the same color as our laser scan layer. So in this case, I'm going to select green. Awesome. We have a new layer and our D works automatically recognize that as a laser cut layer. Keep in mind, it doesn't always do that. So before you laser scan or laser cut anything, we're going to want to double click on our layer. So let's double click here on laser cut. By doing that, a new window is going to pop up called layer parameter. And what layer parameter essentially is, is the settings for your laser. So we're going to have right here, the speed of the laser. That's how fast the laser moves and our power settings. That's how powerful the laser is. Now, all these different settings are going to change depending on the thickness of the material of the material you're working with and what type of material you're working with. So in this scenario, I'm actually working with acrylic. Um, if you're using the Innovation Orchard's computer in the machine room, which is where the laser cutter is located, we're going to have a different parameter library settings. So when you click here at parameter library, there's different pre-made settings that our technicians have made for cutting various thicknesses of material and different materials. But since I'm on my own personal computer, I don't have these preset parameter settings. But if I were at the Innovation Orchard, I would select 
whatever thickness of acrylic I have, click it there and load it in. But since that's not the case, I'm just going to exit out of this. And I'm going to show you how to change the power and speed settings yourself. So let's say the acrylic I'm cutting is a little thick and I want to make sure that the laser is cutting completely through that acrylic. So I may want to increase the power of the laser. So to do that, I'm just going to backspace 30 here, just make it 40. Just hit enter and do the same for minimum power. So it's backspace, type in 40, enter. Cool. So I want to slow down the laser. Fairly simple. Delete what's there. Type in what you want. Press enter. Now our parameter settings for cut are set. We're going to want to do the same thing for scan. I'm going to double click the scan layer. And if you're using Innovation Orchard's computer, you could just go to your parameter libraries and select whatever you need. But for now, I'm going to change the power. Now for scanning, the power settings are basically going to impact how deep the laser is going to be etching. So say if I want like a deeper edge, I'm gonna increase the power. So let's increase that to 20 for example's sake, right? Just hit okay. So say your parameter settings are all good. You're happy with that. We're gonna to wanna to run a simulation before we actually use the laser cutter. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the monitor icon, which is how we preview our laser cut. So here's a simulation. To run the simulation, I'm just gonna click simulation. And everything you see here that's being highlighted in pink is basically what the laser is already etched. So we can actually see this whole computerized simulation of what the laser would be doing on your material in real life. And we could also get an idea of how long the laser cut will take by looking at total time. So for this one in particular, we're looking at around a minute and five seconds. It's pretty good. So you can either watch the full simulation and make sure you're happy with it, or if you already have an idea of what laser is gonna be doing, you could just stop it and exit out of this window. Cool. So you're happy with your parameter settings. You're happy with the simulation. Now you want to actually start the laser. So to do that, typically would go here and there'll just be a button that says start. However, since I'm not currently connected to the laser, I do not have that option. But if I was connected to the laser, I just click right here and hit start and that would start the laser cutter. All right. Okay, so as we can see here, this is what happens after you press start on the laser cutter. It is currently engraving the portions that we set to engrave. And then eventually it'll do the cutting process, which takes a lot less time than the engraving process. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me during this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next one.